Hi everybody, I'm going to try and make a quick video about rock types, primarily igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary. So let's start with sedimentary rocks. They are formed as layers of sediment uh, deposit and solidify or um, get compacted and, and cemented down and you can see the actual layers and sometimes the layers um, like beach sand will have magnetite in them like our minerals did the other day in lab you can see that some are uh, formed at the base of the ocean and some are formed in beach areas sedimentary rocks contain a lot of fossils and so for example this is sandstone limestone more limestone there's also some shale and it's a pretty cool sedimentary rock we move next to metamorphic rocks so this is nice g-n-e-i-s-s -S, and it is formed after heat and pressure take those layers and change the formations of them. There can be a lot of different kinds. This nice, this is marble. This one over here is marble that has been quarried and polished and cut. Here's some more nice. And this right here is schist. Gotta be careful of the pronunciation for that one. Then we look at some igneous rocks, and igneous rocks form when volcanic events like magma and lava cool and crystallize. So here's obsidian. You like that from your video games. Here is some uh, scoria, and we have uh, granite. You recognize that. Here's some granite as well, where you can see up close, you can see the feldspar that we had in our minerals. You can see the quartz, kind of a smoky color, and you can see the mica, tiny dark crystals in it. So feldspar, quartz, and mica are within granite. You can see that sometimes there are igneous intrusions. So we had this basalt rock that cooled quite quickly, so there are not many crystals visible, but an intrusion, a magma event, broke through it and cooled with larger crystals. It cooled more slowly, and so you end up with intrusions, and there are many examples of those. Um, some rocks that are kind of cool that can form inside igneous or sedimentary rocks are geodes and they are secondary crystallizations. You can also uh, have crystallizations. These are sedimentary rocks here, rock crystals that form. And some rocks show evidence of glaciation. You can see the uh, glacier perhaps carried this rock and scraped it along the ground and you get the striations in it. And don't let anybody tell you that um, no rocks can float, because this is volcanic pumice, and watch as it floats. Cool, huh? That's science. And science literally rocks.